Today we're going to talk about how we square the club face through impact. Uh, I use what's called centripetal force. That's with a P, not centrifugal force. Centripetal force is a force toward the center of a circle. And I'm going to demonstrate. I teach a relaxed golf swing. I want the small muscles to be very relaxed. I want the hands to be soft on the golf club. Uh, that relaxes the wrists and relaxes the forearms. When I execute my swing, when I start down from the top, the golf club would fall roughly into this position where the toe is up and the leading edge is somewhat vertical. I'm going to turn through, allow the weight of the club head to unhinge my wrists and start to hinge them again on this side in my follow through. And again, the club head is toe up and leading edge vertical. I almost fell over there. I want you to watch what this golf club does when I let it swing totally out of control. It's doing exactly what I want it to do in a good golf swing. The toe is in effect heavier than the heel in relation to its center of gravity because it's further from its axis, the shaft. So every golf club in your bag, if you allow it, every golf club in your bag wants to do this. If my club face is open through impact, it's because I didn't allow centripetal force to turn the club face. The more you relax, the easier that's going to be. And all you will be worrying about is maybe the path of the golf club, not squaring the club face. It'll do it for you.